And a lot of people cannot imagine whiteness because they don't know it. They don't see it. It's invisible. <coughs> but it's there all the time. So I'd like to share with you just a little of um, my thoughts about whiteness. And it, it is a social category for one. And a social category, is there any sociologists here? Don't correct me. <laughs> social category is a group of people who share common characteristics, but they may never interact with each other. But they are a social category. So whiteness, white people, share a whole lot of things, even if they don't interact. And one thing that they share is whiteness or white privilege. And you may ask um, a poor white person, for example, I don't have any privileges. It's because the privilege is invisible. The privilege is that when you go into a store, someone doesn't follow you around, literally. I've been followed around in sewers. Privilege is not when you are walking and you are close to a white woman, all of a sudden she clutches her purse tightly. Because the thought is, you're obviously going to steal. That's how it's going to be important. Privilege. When you go into a car dealership, the person who runs out doesn't say, uh, so you want to buy a used car? when you are really looking for a brand new car. Privilege is not going to be Privilege is having a very low death rate for babies. That's a privilege. But it's an invisible privilege. And so people don't think as such. 